but I will explain what happened after that. I went back home. I I slept. Nilirudi nyumbani nikalala baada ya pale. Yeah, when I'm 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 not okay, I sleep. Nikiwa siko sawa, ninalala. No sleep cools the temper. Cools the body, cools the soul, cools the Tuliza nafsi na tuliza roho. Na tuliza kila. Nikarudi nikalala. Then I woke up. Nilipoamka. And I woke up, I sat on this wonderful chair of mine and then I started meditating. Nilipoamka nikakaa kwenye kiti changu kizuri nikaanza kutafuta. I was I was disturbed. Nikasumbuka. Nikasema Mungu. What happened? You know I love you guys so much. Never sana. in your life get me wrong. I love you so much. Ninawapenda sana. But that Lapi, day siku ile on Sunday it yumapili. was enhanced by God. Ile ilisukumwa za iliongezewa nguvu na Mungu. Yani that was not your prophet. Yule alikuwa nabii wako. That was the God. Yule alikuwa ni Mungu. And this is the moment you hear me very well. Na huu ndio wakati mnatakuwa kunisikia vizuri. Na nimeona naomba nigusie hiyo topic leo. That is why I decided to touch on that to kumsikia Mungu. That was not me. Huyo hakuwa mimi. As much as ningependa kukwambia that was me, it was not me. Vile ambavyo I would love to tell you ilikuwa ni mimi, haikuwa mimi. The Sunday service, ibada Jumapili, the title was it is my time. Title ilikuwa ni muda wangu. I was going to teach you this is what I was going to teach you and he is hearing me. Iki ndicho nilichokuwa naenda kufundisha na Lisi. It is my time to ni, be blessed. Ni muda wangu kubarikiwa. Ah touch your neighbor and say neighbor. Mguse jirani yako mwambie jirani. It is my time. Ni muda wangu. You getting me? That's what I was going to teach you. Ndicho ambacho nilikuwa naenda kufundisha. Muda wangu wa kunga. It doesn't matter what they said but it is my time. Haijalishi uh, walisema ni muda. become fire on Sunday. Preaching. I was not teaching, I was Nikuwa preaching. Nikuwa There's Nikuwa a difference na... between teaching and preaching. Yes sir. So I was going to preach. Kondikuwa naenda kuhubiri. Mm. Mm. You might not like my time but it is mine. Unaweza usiupende lakini ndio wako wangu. So I was going to give you some fired sermon. Nilikuwa naenda kukupa mahubiri ya moto. Ambao nilikuwa nimeandaa. But the media a day before they asked me man of God prophet papa what are we doing what what is the title for the nilikuwa sina title mpaka Jumamosi ya Jumapili ya ibada ya Jumapili so I didn't know exactly but when they asked I said I'll, I'll get back to you Waliponiuliza nikamwambia nitawarudia Then I heard the spirit of the Lord saying it Nika, is my time Nikamsikia roho ah, Mungu akisema ni muda wangu I said now preaching time has come Nikasema muda wa kuhubiri umefika I've missed preaching you see ukiona you know the realities of the spiritual world hiyo ninaenda kufundisha hapo just know i'm going to teach but it is my time lakini ni muda wangu you can put it in any sentence unaweza kuweka kwenye sentence yoyote <laughs> si ndio so i was ready to give you enough sentences where you will put it is my time kwa nilikuwa nina kupa sentence za kutosha ambayo utaweka ni muda declarations za kutosha and all those things which is also very good ambayo ni nzuri sana lakini i was that was me ile ilikuwa ni mimi that was the the prophet yule alikuwa ni nabii and he is understand it was hidden from me also ile ficho kwangu mimi pia so when i stood here kwa niliposimama hapa and i We did what we did and tukamaliza ibada and we left. Na tukaondoka. Later when I was alone. Baadaye nikiwa peke yangu. He spoke very clearly and said I told wazi. you it is my time. Nilikwambia ni muda wangu. My God and he said Sunday is mine. Akasema Jumapili ni ya kwangu. I was not happy with the church. Sikuwa na furaha na kanisa. The, it is the only time I get with them. Ndio muda many peke, hours and they still want to cut my time. Na bado wanataka kukata muda wangu. You did not get it. Look at your neighbor say neighbor you. Mwangalie jirani yako mwambie jirani. It's difficult for you to understand. Ni ngumu kwako kuelewa. Because to you God is a cloud. Kwa sababu kwako wewe Mungu ni wingu fulani. You know a cloud doesn't feel anything. Wingu hali halihisi chochote. So you know a cloud is hanging up above us, you know? But no no no. no. He said to me said Akaniambia akasema And I was there I was feeling I was feeling down and I was not okay and I said you could, you could just tell me said if I if if I revealed it to you Nige what I was planning to do You would you would go ahead of me Ungeenda mbele yangu 
And he said that moment akasema muda ule I walked out niliondoka Mimi ndo nilotoka I'm the one It was who I ilikuwa ni mimi Not you Sio You see children of God the Bible says No 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 Mungu Biblia inasema Israeli prayed to God and asked God to give them a king Waliomba Mungu awape mfalme Ongapi unajua andiko And Samuel the prophet Na Samuel inabii He went to God and said these people have rejected me your prophet they Alienda. want you to give them a king Alienda kwa Mungu akasema wamenikataa mimi nabii wako wanataka Kwa sababu Israeli iliongozwa na Samuel by a prophet not a king mdaule and God said na Mungu akasema they have not rejected you now I'm not saying you rejected me don't get me wrong nataka nikupe the scenario they he said they did not reject you they rejected me akasema hawakukukataa wewe walinikataa mimi so in other words when you are late you are not late for me ukichelewa hauchelewi kwa ajili yangu When you say I'm not going to church you are not, not for me. Sio kwa ajili yako. This is where we see it. This is how we see it. Hivi ndivyo tunavyoiona. I can just be late. Naweza tu nikachelewa. It's, it's Sunday and it's Lakini Jumapili na nijione. And this is God. Na huyu ni Mungu. And bado and yet watu wanakuja nusu. Uliona Sunday right? Yes. Almost saa 12 a whole kule kote kwa upe. And he said akasema I knew what I was planning to do. Najua nilichopanga kufanya. I was furious. Mimi nilikuwa nimekasirika. Go and tell them next time when you go. Nenda ukawaambie wakati mwingine unapoenda. Ninachokisema. I want to give you the word of the Lord. Nadhani kupe neno la Bwana. I wanted you to understand that on Sunday I was possessed. Nilitaka uelewe kwa majumapili nilikuwa nimevaliwa. What I felt was not me. Nilicho kisikia ilikuwa sio mimi. I couldn't control it. It was out of me. Ilikuwa ni It was bigger than me. Ilikuwa ni kubwa kuliko. Began ministry I've never done something like that. It's not my habit. Sio tabia yangu. I can tolerate. Naweza kuvumilia mimi. I can uh, yani mimi nina moyo mpana wa kuvumilia. I have a heart to tolerate. I've done summons mara ngapi hapa Jumapili watu bado wewe mara ngapi au many times? Many times. Even sometimes I tell you I don't care. Wakati mwingine nakwambia sijali, huyo ni mimi. But him, lakini yeye anajali. In other words, was wale wanasema Kwa maneno mengine, asira ilimfika hapa. He has something against us and I want to tell you. Time. Ana kitu amekishikilia dhidi yetu nataka nikwambie muda especially zaidi sana sunday jumapili he does not understand haelewi kabisa children of god unajua mimi siishi na nyie you know i don't live with you nini kinafanyaga watu wachelewe i don't know what makes people to be observation zake yeye but by his own observation anaona he sees watu wengi wanachelewa kimakusudi makusudi many people are coming zembe uzembe purposely remember we are dealing with the one that sees everything tunashughulika na yule ambaye anaona kila kitu so What I'm saying now it is not sasa. me si mimi it's him ni yeye saying niku, nije niwaambie telling me to come and tell you now i don't know if you understand that god speaks to si me si kama unaelewa kama mungu anazungumza we need to start there kwa sababu inabidi so come to anaona kama I'm, i'm teaching a sermon i'm not giving a sermon sikupi somo hapa I never knew. You know the Bible is so real, son. No, yes, sir. You know the Bible is so real. I just Biblia ni alisi. Nilikuwa nimekaa kwenye kile kiti changu. I was sitting on my chair. Uh, and I just wanted to cry. Nikataka tu kuja. My God. Nikasema Mungu. Immediately, yani baada nipo pale, nika alivo alivo niache when the, when the presence left me the word. The Lord left me pale, alivo toka kwenye chumba changu. When he came out of my room. And I started feeling kwamba this is how he felt alivo kwa naongea kwenye makanisa in the book of revelation even if you are going to speak it's Nikasam. happening no me my ex you know, i was i had mixed feelings mimi nilikuwa na hisia mchanganyiko i was i had mixed feelings unajua mara nyingi god akshuka tell them i will prosper them tell them this is their time for them to be blessed tell them i'm the no more witchcraft but that day it was like sono it was a rebuke ilikuwa ni it was nothing to do with a uh, i it's nothing it was pure 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 god ilikuwa ni mungu disappointed 
akiwa amevunjika mwana and here is god expressing himself through am- wewe unadhani mungu akasidika pale you think when god god is, is standing here and then he is furious what happens wewe unadhani ile kitatokea how will he express kwamba a spirit is angry how he will express through a body atadhihirisha kupitia mwili so my reaction or the reaction of my body was the expression of the spirit of god how do i know jesus yes. whipped people alichapa watu in the temple kwenye kalu that was the spirit of god ile ilikuwa ni roho in him amekasirika nyumba ya mungu inafanyika kuwa nini sehemu ya a marketplace sokoni people are doing business watu wanafanya biashara and jesus na yesu possessed by the holy ghost akiwa amejaa roho mtakatifu alichukua this is the messiah this is a man oh, this is god that is mungu. not quick to anger ambaye si mwepesi wa asira Here is his reaction. Lakini hapa ndio anavyoreact. He starts beating people. Anaanza kuchapa watu. Now if you are not careful, kama hauko makini. Or if makini, you are not spiritual, kama hauko rohoni. You say utasema an, an emotional man. Mtu mwenye hisia huyo. The wise. Wenye kima. They look at how Jesus is beating people and say. Wanaangalia Yesu anachapa watu anasema Mungu. not happy. Hajafurahi. prophetic ministry huduma kinabii has this side also ina upande huu pia not just yes. can i prophesy i prophesy to so come from morogoro yes man of god is the god we are hearing happy je yeah, mungu unemmsikia anafuraha huyu mungu tunaye anaye anaye tuongelesha gongelesha tukomboa komboa kutufungua is he, we need to also know his state lazima tujue hali yake ya moyo is he happy with us je yeah, anafuraha na sisi sababu tunaweza tukawa tunamtumia tu because we may be just using ila ye hayuko sawa na sisi but ila hana budi bali kuongea but we don't no want to be a church that God is doing out of mercy abo Mungu anafanya tu kwa huruma zake ah uh-uh. we want to be a church that Tuna. God is doing out of relationship tunataka tuwe kanisa ambalo Mungu anafanya kwa sababu ya mahusiano yetu naye akiwa anafanya anamfanyia rafiki yake when he is doing so, he is doing to a friend Where do you know Let me just do this. But he is fed up with us. Lakini ametoshwa na sisi. So that 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 it is my time. It is the it is the it is already God speaking. Tayari ni Mungu anazungumza. Mimi mwenyewe sikujua. Even my servant is not. Paka lipo sasa. Sunday is my time. Jumapili ni muda wangu. Why are they cutting my time? Kwa nini wanakata muda wangu? Saa 9, saa 10, saa 11, 12. 3 hours. Masaa matatu. Na yana pita a passing no one can come i don't know children of god mimi sielewi but that's what i can tell you ndicho ninachoweza kukuambia kama una una hekima if you are wise you know, live with that we have become too casual in this place wa kawaida sana mwili sana mali yako there is no sense of discipline hakuna ile hali ya nidhamu the prophet is young and cool nabii ni mdogo alafu yuko poa tu but not god sio mungu he is not young and is not cool sio mdogo na wala mungu yuko poa so as you are leaving this place kuna vondoka mali hapa just know he knows every member of this ministry jua tu anajua kila mshiriki wa ili kanisa binafsi and he knows our hearts na anajua mioyo yetu and in the issue of sunday or service ibada kwenye issue ya ibada miwi services are not honored god does so much in this place i mungu anafanya sana popote duniani na kusema mungu wa madhabahu hii anatupenda loves us sure. ni mungu anayetuangaikia sana yani ni mahangaiko ya muda mrefu yani tuna, yani unajua kuna ile kwamba you don't feel kama kitu kinafanyika and then kuna i, s, m, mahali ambapo unaona you see with your eyes kwa macho yako 